ensuring that the PIB brings developments to Nigeria and translates to better living conditions for all Nigerians are key parameters experts say need to be met. Implementing the law and amending key elements as that when due for the greater good must be prioritized to ensure that the Nigerian oil and gas sector is positioned to function optimally at a global level. Hopefully the bill ushers a new dawn into the Nigerian oil and gas sector. Thank you, Ajoke, for the explainer. Now, away from the PIB, if you have ever visited Lagos State, southwest Nigeria, you are most unlikely to escape traffic jam. Apart from the occasional road repairs and auto crashes, you might never really understand why there are long queues on the road. In our next report, uh, just Nigeria's Sheifumi Olatide went on the streets to find out why the roads are a nightmare, especially during peak hours. Have a look. When you think about Lagos, Nigeria, what comes to your mind? Why so much traffic in this bubbly city, despite the state's robust traffic management laws? For some, yellow buses, known as Danfo or Faragon by Lagosians, seem to be the chief culprits. Commuters say these buses continue to disregard road regulations, driving on curbs and against traffic, and picking passengers in the middle of the road, creating a nightmare of long queues. The way they stop on the road, which is not designated places to pick passengers, for me it's not good because it causes a lot of uh, hold up on the road. Some people, they don't care. They can stand in the middle of the road and, and it's not okay. If it's here, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. And you can do it. So I'm right here on the pedestrian bridge at Ojota Axis of Ikorodu Road. And what you see right over there is an example of such situations where you have yellow buses picking up passengers at undesignated places. This in itself can cause traffic gridlock. Traffic officers like these ones appear to be both helpless and out of ideas on how to handle them. When arrests are made, there are allegations that drivers often get a slap on the wrist. We have drivers of these yellow buses that, as of the moment, they carry weapons in their vehicle. But I have many officers that have got their legs amputated because of the activity of the yellow buses. And so carrying a weapon means like, I'm telling you, don't even come near me. So if I have a wife at home and two small children, there is no way I would not be scared. The state government says it is making efforts to regulate the commercial bus transportation sector through the Bus Reform Initiative. What we're trying to do is to put, uh, I mean, divide Lagos into about seven zones and then franchise different routes to operators so that we can regulate them properly and then to move away from uh, the downfalls, which is about 14 seaters, 16 seaters, to about 70 seaters, because the number of trips we have to deal with is a lot. However brilliant this initiative seems, yellow bus drivers remain on the prowl. Perhaps enforcing the traffic law is the first step to ending the daily traffic nightmare in Lagos State. To use members of the union, first of all, train their leaders, let them buy into the concept of enforcing the law themselves and a lot of things will be easy because they will be part of it and you know they, um, they, they, they enforce their rules they collect money by just taking a, a little stick so if they can do that they can also keep the traffic moving because you will let them know it is in their interest so that it will help their turnaround time as authorities continue to explore different options Residents look forward to a time commuting in Lagos will become smart and hassle-free. Show you for me all that today, just Nigeria. I can totally relate with that experience. Now, with the hope authorities will do more to address some of the concerns raised in that story. Still ahead on just Nigeria. Lagos High School students profile solutions to the water problem in their community. We bring you this story and more after the break. Stay with us.